Hyde Karawongs, Strapper agraculina, are one of the three species of Karawongs found in Australia. Pied Karawongs are found right along the eastern coast of Australia from Victoria to the top of Cape York and there are five subspecies recognised. This footage shows the most widely spread subspecies, Strepera graculina graculina. Pied Karawongs are omnivorous and will eat a wide range of insects, invertebrates and berries. This one is hunting insects in the grass and in eucalypt forests they have a particular fondness for stick insects. On this wet day a small creek had formed in a park and a flock of around 20 pied karawongs were picking things to eat from out of the water flow. Pied karawongs are starting to adapt quite well to urban environments and here one is eating a discarded apple core. They are well known for loving berries and will expel the uneaten seeds and skins in a little pellet. These ones were produced by a bird that evidently was eating berries from a nightshade plant. Pied karawongs will predate on smaller birds and their nestlings and just the presence of this one resting in a tree is enough to disturb some brown honey eaters. You can see them flying around and emitting their alarm call. If you're troubled by this in your garden, the solution is not to chase the karawongs away, but to plant more shrubs and small trees for protection for the small birds. Pied karawongs nest from spring to early summer and build a nest of sticks lined with leaves and soft material. This one appears to be collecting lining for his nest but can't quite make up his mind on how much of it he wants. On this steep angle you can see the bristle feathers on a pied karawong. These feathers have a sensory and protective function and are made up of one prominent central rachis with few or no barbs. This pied karawong is sporting a deformed or injured wing but was still able to move around and fly quite well. Cleaning is important for birds to maintain feather condition and this is the only time in my whole life I've ever seen a karawong bathing. In the wild, karawongs are towards the bottom of the pecking order amongst the omnivorous birds and are easily defeated in a standoff with a magpie, but that doesn't stop them from taking an opportunistic swoop at a magpie when they can. These two pied karawongs spent around four minutes fighting. As they're both adults, I don't think it was play fighting. they spend a fair bit of time pausing and watching the sky around them. When on the ground like this, they themselves are also vulnerable to attack. 